What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So, my internet has been pretty spotty all day today and uh, because of that, this video is going to have to be pretty short just so you guys know. So I'm probably only going to try to squeeze in one video, or excuse me, one mission into this video. Uh, so we'll see what happens though uh, as far as gameplay goes because if it if it's, seems to be laggy, then we're going to definitely cut it uh, pretty, pretty short. But if, see, if it seems to be... Uh, pretty flawless and potentially we'll keep going we'll see once we get there uh we'll cross that hurdle as it comes but for now though what we're gonna do is we're gonna be talking to meg about vault 79 and doing the whole raider side of this storyline so let's see what happens if you're excited for this video though do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not even subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's go ahead and get going all right so we gotta go Those over crazy. to God, Meg. The bad guys. Someone's playing the drums around here somewhere. All right, let's go into the crater core because I'm pretty sure this is where she's at. So the loading screens is what's potentially worrying me. I'm not entirely sure how the game goes. Okay, so it seems to be pretty good. Um, but I'm not sure how much the internet comes into play with this. Um, so you hopefully it doesn't, time it's not too here? bad. But let's go ahead and go ahead uh, and talk to Meg. Looks like your little inoculation worked like a charm. We've established your usefulness, but don't mistake our gratitude for hospitality. Yet here you are. It tells me you're not here just to waste my time. You want something. Yep. And it must be important, else you wouldn't be barging in here like you run the place. Out with it. So, um, so have you heard of the treasure here in Appalachia? Well, I'm here to actually let you know that it's real and it's actually locked inside a vault. Uh, vault 79 to be more specific. Well, if that don't pique my interest, please go on. What exactly, pray tell, is inside this Vault 79? Chems? <laughs> um... Long story short, it's the U.S. Treasury, uh, Treasury supply of gold. All of it. Every last bit of gold is in there. This is a fascinating turn of events, ain't it? The things I could buy with that gold. You know, I heard rumors about it round here. Of course, the last sucker who tried to use the location of the trove as a bargaining chip we'll is still dangling from a wire outside as we speak. <laughs> Liars get wires, you dig? So let's pretend for a moment I don't believe you. What you got to convince me? So, liars get wires and snitches get stitches. Tracking. Um, let me see. Who knows what scorch beasts or wendigos or other bullshit creatures you'll run into on your way down there? Count me out. Mmm. Well, this is a limited time offer, Meg. I could definitely take this to someone else if you don't want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now hold on just a hot minute. I didn't say I wasn't interested. What's your deal? You got plans for this thing or what? I do. Well, mostly. So, not that long ago, I actually went to Vault Tech University and got the schematics to the vault. You want to look at it? Shit. You know I could just kill you and take this, right? You got a lot to learn before you can roll with us, 7-6. I can kill you way before you can try to kill me, buddy, but... Hey, you know what to each his own. Uh, but... Just so you know... Um... I'm really not that stupid. Not as stupid as you may think I am. That's why I haven't given you the actual location of the vault yet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the cut of your jib. Maybe there is hope for you. Toss it up on the board and let's see what you got here. The Brotherhood of Which board? Even the damn uh, belongs to us. Over here. Oh, there ain't right nobody here. That can oh, prove me wrong. There you go. Like Ooh, that looks pretty. Off the scorched, it'd be them. Oh, she's coming over here too. Yeah. Now we're back. Everyone we knew in the area is dead. And the scorched are still here. You got one of those pit boys? Mm -hmm. If you wake up and find it missing, right. grill mm -hmm. Fisher first. <laughs> Seems Guy's pretty legit. For tech. Are you going to say anything or what? 
Oh, I have to talk to her. What I am I doing? I assume you're coming to me because we got the skills to get into this here vault. But you know, we ain't gonna do this out of the goodness of our hearts, baby doll. Oh, no, no. I'm gonna expect a significant cut of the goods inside. So we're gonna have ourselves an agreement here, see? I supply the people power. You supply the location. We all get inside, we nab the goods, you get a nice fair little cut, and we all make out like bandits, you dig? Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy, though. Um... Yeah, I mean... What kind of cut are we talking about, exactly? I don't know, 50% of whatever we take in? Now remember who's gonna do all the heavy lifting in there. If the treasure's half as good as you say, well, it should be more than enough to set you up for life. And if you impress me enough, maybe you get to roll with us. That is, as long as you're cool with people calling you a raider. Um, I'd like a bigger cut of the loot. Yeah? Well, I'd like my mama back from the dead in a world that ain't burn up like a post-nuclear turkey dinner. <laughs> we don't always get what we want. Look, I know it ain't what you want to hear, but maybe you get a little bonus if you prove your worth it, alright? Alright, so, you know what? I'll take that. first things first. We gotta have a plan to crack that big-ass vault door wide open, right? Easy peasy, light and breezy. That's a job for Lucky Lou, our demo expert. If he can't explode it, then it ain't from this earth. Now, uh, Lou can be a real shut-in, on account of his, uh, skin condition. But I trust him more than just about anybody. Why don't you go see him in his room down below? Introduce yourself, fill him in on the plan, and do whatever prep work he needs you to do, you dig? Yeah, sounds fair, or seems seems right. Uh, so what's what's the condition of Lou? Aside from the fact Lou ain't exactly what I call a people person, he looks like one of them ghouls you see shambling around out there. Gotcha. Only he still maintains all the other stuff that makes us human. Don't worry, he ain't gonna bite. But some of the others don't much appreciate his appearance, so he keeps to himself. Works out, unless he's a bit of a hermit anyway. All right. Uh, why do th why do they call him Lucky Lou, anyways? At least when it comes to dying, Lou's got a knack for cheating death. He was up in Pittsburgh, seventy years old when shit went down. They say a real honest to goodness a bomb fell straight in his living room. Thing didn't go off. A oh dud. my god! When the radiation came flowing down the rivers into the city. Most died or went feral, but Lou, he survived. Changed, but. With his mind intact. You get the picture. Alright, yeah, I'll go talk to Lou. Right on, 7-6. Do your thing. Just try to keep this on the down low, alright? I don't want the entire camp knowing what's going on yet. Only tell who I say to tell, you dig? Yeah, sure, why not? Cheating death. Hey, 7-6. Awesome. You know, the quicker you get Lou on board with us, the quicker we get into that vault. Keep talking shit. We ditched Margie for Meg. That's what I thought. That old ski slump for the crater. Yeah, good thing too. All right. We'd either be so Lou is down here somewhere. If we'd stuck with uh, I heard this white no, stuff's kidding. hell on the eyes. Where would it's Lou be? A few ideas, doesn't it? Dead too. This way? I'm literally guessing at this point. Okay, I think this is the way. Mr. Lou, I'm here to talk. What the fuck? He's gone. Lou's goodbye note. Gone forever. Don't get needy and come looking. I ain't gonna be an eyesore around here no more. I already told Fisher he's got claim to all my stuff. The rest of you can fight over the scraps. Oh, I think he's gone. Um, Fisher's terminal, you say? Fisher seems like he's upstairs. Who the hell is Fisher, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, I know who Fisher is. I remember. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, which one is his terminal? That's even if I... Well, that's Fisher right there, but... Let's see if I can hack so into his terminal. To do. Do I get any He's Russian. Uh, well, do I even have the cards? Oh, I gotta level up anyways. So let's go ahead and uh, pick a perk. Um, I'm going with laser stuff. Uh, so commando, uh, we'll get master commando for now. That way I have one of each. Uh, 
Oh, wait, I forgot I was gonna go into Commando. Oh, I only have two. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to lock because this requires a level three. So I guess the only option we have is to talk to Lou himself. Wait, I need some water. You're the new guy, aren't you? I seen you talking with Meg and poking around. Fat brings you to me. Um so I have some questions. Questions? Oh, sure. Fat uh what sort of questions? Well, first of all, when was the last time you saw Lou exactly? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Couple of days, maybe? He mostly keeps to himself. So there are times where I don't see him for weeks, despite us all living so close together. So... He mostly keeps to himself, you say? I suppose you haven't seen Lou yet. Uh, with all respect. Lou's not easy to look at. When the radiation flooded Pittsburgh, it left him changed. Skin melted off, but still alive. Still more or less human. I get the impression he wasn't very sociable to begin with, and that just made it worse. He gets anxious around people, and people get anxious around him. But everyone knows he's useful around here. So he lives tucked away. It works. All right, makes sense. Um, so what can you tell me about him specifically? Lou? Uh, well, he's a good guy. We both fell in with this lot around the same time, so he and I have a bit of a kinship. Not many are accepting of Lou, since he's one of those ghouls. But unlike the Firas, he's still got his brain in working order. He's not afraid to put in a day's honest work. He's a great craftsman. And on top of that, he has skill with explosives. Of a never that's handy. And it comes in handy more often than you think. Alright, well. Sure. I got to I gotta ask again. What brings you here? Um. So. I found a note. From Lou, actually. That says, uh, he basically took off. And lo and behold, he actually mentioned you in it, and, uh, what do you know about his disappearance? Lou, huh? He... I, uh, didn't know he was gone. Liar. Maybe he was just tired of being cooped up in that hole of his and then for some fresh air? Oh, you're so full of shit. We'll do this the hard way, then. The hard way, uh, has got a lot more punching, and in my case, hacking and slashing with my axe. Okay, okay. You got me. I confess. I intentionally misled you. No shit. But it's not what you think. I had to do it. I promised Lou I would try to throw people off his trail if they came looking for him. I was hoping he'd come to his senses, return by now, and this wouldn't be necessary. Truth is, I'm worried. When he left, he was more glum than usual, like something was weighing heavy on his mind. So he was depressed? He's always a little surly. It's possible it's on account of his condition, but he's had years to adjust. Sure, some of the others don't like the way he looks, but they still respect him, I say. I don't know a soul who wouldn't take a bullet for Lou. Not that he needs it. Every curse somehow turns into a blessing for him. In fact, if I was still a religious man, I would say God watches over him and has special plans for Lou here on this earth. Lou's one of the luckiest men alive. He's over 95 years old and still fit as a fiddle, sharp as a tack. I witnessed over a dozen times that something should have frightened killed any normal man, but not Lou. All right, so if Lou is so lucky, why would he want to up and leave this place? To be honest, I don't know. He came to see me before he left. I was busy working and only half listening, but I think he said something about feeling like a burden. He's never been a burden on anyone. He keeps to himself and 
does more than his fair share of work. That's not Mem's way. Do you have any idea where he went? Not exactly. But I did send out a friend of mine to go find him, just before you showed up. She's a tracker. Best I've ever known. Unfortunately, she hasn't come back yet. Might be she's having trouble getting Lou to see eye to eye. My friend's not the best conversationalist, and Lou's stubborn. Maybe you can go and mediate. Talk some sense into old Lou. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm down, but that still doesn't tell me where I need to go. Oh, right. Uh, pardon me. Since my tracker buddy went off alone, I rigged up a tracking beacon I could use to find her. Just in case she ran into trouble and, uh, wasn't able to make it back. I don't think that's the case here, but fair warning, this might lead you to a dead end. In this case, I'm sorry. You can use your pit boy to track the beacon's radio signal. The closer you are, the more it will be. It should get you to where you need to be. Okay, sounds good. Well, uh, I'll definitely go meet you this tracker of yours. Good luck. And, uh, I hope Bruce okay when you find him. Awesome. So... You can't push a button, but they can fire Hold on. a gun. So Ooh, I need to come over here. So I guess I'll start at the Philippi um, Battlefield Cemetery. And we'll go east or west from there. Since that's like the furthest east that I could be as far as the circle goes. But then, I don't know. Hopefully it's not very difficult to find. Also, I hope the internet is not very spotty. Because if that's the case, I'm pretty much screwed, isn't it? Oh no, it seems to be pretty pretty good to uh, right now at least. Alright. I'm assuming it's that cave since it's the only thing that's not marked. Hold on. Uh, do I have a Fisher's tracking beacon? Alright, 42. Alright, what does it say now? 56. All right, we're going the right way. I'm pretty sure it's in this cave. 69. Great number. Not for any perverted reasons. That's just it's my favorite number because I think it looks really cool. All right. How do I get over there? All right. We should be here. Yeah, dude, I was right. I guessed it right on the right on the nose. It's got to be in this cave. It's got to be. All right, Carlton Mine. Let's see what uh this tracker has in store for us. That was literally the first meet week event. This picture, by the way. Actually, pretty. I actually kind of like that event. Wasn't anywhere near as, uh, as good as the Fosna event, in my opinion. Oh, there's a tracker. Hello. Hello. I was not <laughs> expecting anyone. Um, are you uh the tracker for Fisher? Yes, I am. <laughs> Weasel. Oh God. Um, so what's wrong with your voice? I can't speak. The man, Fisher, made this collar to let me speak words. It is not perfect, but it works. He found the machines. No. The science. No. That is also not right. Technology. Yes, <laughs> it has trouble interpreting some words. Okay, makes sense. So, Weasel. That's a quite an unusual name, don't you think? Not my real name. I was with a different gang until I snatched... No, ratted <laughs> on someone. They used a red hot poker to burn my voice box. Now, I am with Meg and her gang. They like me, but when they found out why I could not talk, they programmed this thing so I could only say my name is... Weasel. <laughs> that way, people know I was a rat. 
Makes sense. Seems like a raider thing to do. Uh, how does this thing work? Peter knows how it works better than I do. He found a science person. No, a <laughs> scientist's house in Mananga. The scientist was working on a device to let animals talk. Fisher made it work for me and impoverished, improvised, made it work better, mostly. Awesome. What kind of words do you have trouble with? The vocals, box cable, word list was not complete. For example, there are no bad words. I have been trying to say bad words this whole time, but they do not come out. If I try, I can say them in other ways. Poop. Fornicate. <laughs> Hot underground place. <laughs> Fuck, this is so dumb. I love this character so much. Uh, never mind, no time to chat. We need to find Lou. Any idea where he went? Lou is deep inside the mine. But he does not want to be found, and it is dangerous to go alone. We can find him together. You lead. I will follow. Well, then let's get going, Weasel. <laughs> I freaking love... I love this character so much. Alrighty. Let's see here. Uh, what do we got? Whatever you got. I ain't got nothing of value. So piss off. Um, hello? This better be good. Uh... Lou, is that you? Yeah, it's me. What's up with you? Yins don't sound familiar. Yeah, I know you don't know me, but I came on behalf of Fisher. You know, your friend. Fisher? What? I told him I didn't want nobody to come for me. What's anyone doing coming for me anyway? Um, why are you abandoning your friends? Cause that's my business and my business alone. Give your never nose out of it. Uh... Can't we just talk about this face to face? Listen up. I don't want to talk, because I don't want you to hurt. I rigged this place to blow, and you being here has put a roll right in my plans. Nah, you can try to get here to me before I get this son of a bitch detonator working, or you can kind of screw off and get out alive. I don't recommend anything in between. Now, if you excuse me, I'm busy. No! Lou, shut me tight. Come look at this. <laughs> dude, I freaking love her, dude. <laughs> oh my god, she's so amazing. Over here. I'm here, what's up? I have an idea. Uh, oh, congratulations, so uh, what am I looking at? It looks like there is a way through. We could exclaim, expose, <laughs> destroy it with Big Boom and go to the other side. Uh, sounds like you know what you're doing. Let's go ahead and give that a try. I have done this kind of work with you before. Stand back. I will set up the Big Boom. Okay. She's going to blow this place. I want to see what she does. Okay, well, she's, uh, ratcheting something, it looks like. What are you doing, Weasel? Stand back, or you will die. I don't want to die. I want to see it blow up, though. Well, right on. So let's let's go. Thank you, Weasel. I need to be careful, cause uh, fuck. 
Lou said there was the closest around here. Let's take the meat. Actually, I'll take the acid too. Where's the other guy? There y'all. Acid. Well now. Oh. He's definitely suicidal. Let's go ahead and give this a whirl. Oh god, it's not gonna freaking shoot me, is it? Hold on. Let's go into fo photo mode. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the shit is going on here, dude? This is insane. I'm actually gonna take a picture. Screw it. Alright, let's go. Weasel mu I mean, not Weasel. Uh, Lou must be really depressed. Alright, well, at least we're on the other side of the wall, it looks like. What the hell is that sound? Oh, God. Mole rats. Die. <laughs> I am ready for a fight. If you say so, Weasel. There was more than that. Where are they at? Um. Oh! <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Not gonna lie. Alright, well, I think that might be it. And if not, we'll just take them out as they come. Look at me. I'm on fire. I may not need this much meat, but it's okay, though. What the hell is that sound? Um All right. Sounds like a bug crawler ahead. Yeah, I see him. It looks like Lil made another self-killing trap. Maybe you can use it against the creature. Maybe there's like a way to turn cuz they're if you look closely they're not on. So, hold on. I need to find a computer terminal. Oh, is it this thing? Oh, there's also a computer terminal inside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Get out of there! No! Run! Oh, God. All right, let's go in here. He can't get us in here. Uh, turrets. No. Oh, fuck. Alright. Stim pack. Maybe I have to push the button in the middle? Run! <coughs> Run away! <coughs> I'm scared. Alright, it's working. Don't shoot me! Run! It's working. The fog crawler is getting destroyed. Or was getting destroyed. Alright. Screw it. I'm going old school. Oh, look. I'm getting help. Oh, fuck. That hurt. No! Screw you, buddy. And you. Fog crawlers are freaking strong, dude. What the hell? Alright. That's it for that. Let's go ahead and go through this door. Are we? Why are we in danger? Alright. I'm not sure. Let's progress. We should be fine anyways. Plus, we got plenty of stim packs. To choose from. That building looks like the way forward. This one? Why do I get the feeling like this is a trap? Oh, fuck. I got a bad feeling about this. You're telling me I'm the one stuck in here. 
Oh my god. Ah! Where the hell am I? Oh look, little frog. <laughs> um, all right, how do I get out of here? This way? Ah, oh, fucking rad scorpion. <laughs> Goodbye, rad scorpion. Oh, Weasel, you scared the shit out of me. Alright, where the hell am I supposed to go, though? Because this is where I started, right? Here, let's go ahead and turn on our light, first of all. It's gotta be this way. Alright. There's a left and a right version. Oh! Nice to meet you, kind citizen. Fortunately for you... You can't touch this. Da, na, na, na. There's a lot of frogs down here. Surprised the rat scorpions don't eat them. Yeah, I thought that was. <coughs> Holy crap, I beat the living dog shit out of them. <coughs> oh, you want some too? <sighs> Alright. Well, let's go ahead and eat the meat. Uh. Alright, we need more meat. Alright, we're good there. Also, let's drink some water. And we're good to go. Wait, hold on. Does this thing explode? There is another weak wall here. I'll try to get through it with a big... Okay, well, hurry it up there. I'll stand over here. How about that? I'm pretty far back. Hurry up, weasel. I'm actually kind of glad that the uh, internet seems to be pretty good right now. And kablooey. Right? Any minute now. Yep, I'm trying to find Lou. Cindy Lou Who. Well, this room looks pretty fantastic, actually. All right, let's see what's over here. I got a lot of meat on me, man. Ooh. Damn it. <clears throat> Get away from me. All right. Do I have buff out? Yes, I do. Let's go. I think I'm still overweight, am I? Well, I guess buff out wasn't even enough. I need to find a workbench so I can destroy that thing so I can get a mod. But that's gonna come in time, I suppose. Awesome. Hey, there's Lou, I found you. Hi, Lou. What the? <laughs> Where the hell'd you come from, Sneaky Jagger? You gone through all the trouble and had to get here. Well, I'd have to stop an old man from off himself. What do you want? Wait, off yourself? Why? That's what I said. Did I stutter? In case it ain't obvious, I'm one of them rad soaked ghouls. Been that way going on 25 years. Ain't no way to live. Killing myself's the only way to keep people safe. Of course, that's harder than you'd think. Um. Suicide is not the answer, man. You have a lot about you, man, that's worth living for. <laughs> Says you. Yins ain't chock full of radiation. Still got skin in the right places. No worries about losing what makes you human. Not being able to stop yourself from killing those that matter to you. That's why this is the only way. Besides, I'm old. I was old when I came down with this. 
I ain't showing any signs of slowing down now. I'm real tired of this. It's too much. I'm done. Ah. Oh. But you're not mindless like the ferals. No, you know what? What's wrong with being a ghoul? You for real? <clears throat> Aside from maybe being a ticking feral time bomb, my body's a mess. Feels like the radiation's both killing me and keeping me alive somehow. You get used to it after a while. But it ain't ever pretty. Nah, it ain't all bad. I've never been good around people. And now they let me alone because I, I look. I feel like I can live forever. That might sound good, but trust me. It ain't. Um. What if you don't change, though? No, you know what? It's very noble of you, man, but people still need you here, man. You're more valuable than you think. Yeah, I know. I'm a regular softy. Nice that people need me. But you don't understand. This unnatural walking corpse of a body it ain't no way to live say i go back with the ends to hell what happens if i change for the worse and end up killing others then what happens if people have trouble putting me down so i end up killing them all what then um i don't think that's very likely yeah well I don't like taking chances. That's why I work with explosives. So, here's the deal. If I do this job for you, you gotta help me off myself after it's done. It's gotta be you. Oh, God. I don't want nobody else knowing about this. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'd much rather convince you to live. I don't think it's gonna happen. But likewise, so long as Yin's let me try to convince you I need to die, it's a deal. Remember, not a word to the others about what I was out here doing or why. Not even Fisher. Don't want him thinking less of me. And I don't want to cause any fright. Now, let's hear about this job. Did I do it? Uh. We need your demolition skills uh, to break into Vault 79. Uh, Yins want to blast our way into a vault? Sounds crazy, but I can do it. I'm in. Yay! You go on ahead back to Crater. I gotta get things in order around here so nothing happens to it while I'm gone. Meet you there. Awesome, we did it. Hopefully he has a workbench. What is this? Lose log cave in. Uh of course I'll use gravity. Nothing can stop gravity if it's gra uh it's gravity. The stone pillars in this cavern are load bearing. When my explosives detonate the ceiling, it will collapse. I'll be buried under a ton of rubble. If I don't die in the explosion, at least I'll get out. I'll never get out. This is going to work, damn it. I'm a demolitions expert. Why didn't I try this from the start? Oh, God. He really was unhappy, wasn't he? Alright, come on, man. I need a workbench. Oh, yeah. We're one right here. Hell, yeah. Scrap items. Uh, we'll start off with the lever action rifle and then the this And we're good. We should be good to fast travel. Hold on. Where does this lead? I'm kind of curious right now. I Think it leads out Okay, so it just leads To another portion of the cave that I don't really care about so let's go ahead and fast travel back to the crater and let Meg know that we got our demolitions expert guy. <clears throat> this is one of those situations, man, where it's like... He asked me to not tell anybody that he's suicidal, but realistically... It's probably better that I do. But knowing that they're raiders... 
and they probably see that as a sign of weakness, they'll probably kill him, dude, after the job's done. So I don't know. I'm torn. I'm really torn. Huh. I don't know what I'm going to do. If it's even an option, I don't even know if it's an option. But for now, let's go ahead and go over to Meg and let her know the good news. Damn, dude, I just realized this, but I really need to fix my freaking armor, don't I? Irie hooked me up with some pretty sweet mods. All right, let's go. Oh god. Oh god. All right, fuck it. Let's go around. <laughs> if I catch you stealing my stuff. Shut the hell up, Raider, dude. I would off you in a second. Well, at worst, or at best case scenario, Meg's going to be happy. Let's go. Hello. You A76. Took you long enough to come back. You get Lou on board with the plan? Actually, I did. Uh, I had to take care of some stuff, but yeah, Lou's good to go. Um, oh, uh, fuck. I feel like I have to tell her, dude. She doesn't seem that bad anyways. I don't think she would kill him. I hope I don't screw her, screw this up. But yeah, Lou ran off to go kill himself. Uh, I stopped him, though, and got him to help us instead. Wait, hold up. You saying Lou's suicidal? To hell with that noise. Lou's a good man. Me and him gotta have a little heart to heart. See if I can't get him back on track and help him out. There we go. Funk, you know? I know Hell a lot yeah. of people chose to end it all after the war. My own mother was in that boat. The world's a depressing place now. But we gotta survive. I like her. That's what people do. And those that do gonna be stronger than anyone come before us, dig? Anyway, Lou's always been a grumpy-ass cat, but I never pegged him for suicidal. Guess you never know. I'll make sure he gets help. Thanks. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I wish I happened. All right, so uh, he's actually worried that he'll go feral and hurt people here in Crater. That's ridiculous. We never seen a ghoul go feral. We wouldn't have kept him around if we was worried about that. Look, uh, I'll talk to him, all right? You focus on the vault job, you dig? All right, so I've been thinking about those plans. Place is secure as hell. Once Lou gets us inside, I'm sure we're gonna meet resistance. Ain't gonna just bowl over and let us loot, so we're gonna need the big guns. For that, we need Gale. Gale's the big green mutant gal you may have seen around, always hanging out with her little girl, Ra-Ra. Ever since Ra-Ra met up with Gale in the wilderness, they've been impossible to separate. So, just saying, you may have to convince Ra-Ra to let Gale come with us. Good luck, 7-6. Awesome. And we got Raider rep, uh, reputation. I don't see Gale over here volunteering for the job yet. You gonna get on that 7-6? Keep talking shit. That's what I thought. Um. Alright. We're definitely gonna go ahead and call it a, ga a game. Man, I'm over here reading this. <laughs> We're gonna call it a video right here, right now, guys. I'm actually glad that... Uh, that the, that the internet was pretty spot on this it. entire video Drink but we're gonna call it a video right here right now in the next video we're definitely going to continue you, on with this uh raider the side hell? of the storyline meet rah Ra and meet gale of nothing? course so it should be pretty interesting to say the least but if you enjoyed this video do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces